And now for our feature presentation. Bo is afraid. When it comes to Ari Aster and his movies, I have no idea where to start. He puts the psychological and psychological horror. Last October, I planned on reviewing his other two hit films, Midsommar, which has one of the most uncomfortable endings of all time, and Hereditary, a new horror classic that has a scene that's been ruined for me. One day I got a voicemail from a wrong number, and I swear this lady sounded like the mother. Just fucking say it. Don't you swear at me, you little shit! Don't you ever raise your voice at me! I am your mother! You stab me in the back with you, understand me? I am your mother. I am your mother. His films are artistic horror that dives into the psyche of the human mind. Every Ari Aster film has had me walking out feeling disturbed and my mind pulsing, trying to decipher the hidden meanings to figure out the context clues he brilliantly hides in the film's narrative. Bo is afraid is no exception, for the most part. This review won't be a deep dive into the movie as it just came out, and to truly understand Ari Aster's films, you need to watch them more than once. This movie is three hours long, and I don't have that type of time on my hands. This movie does have a runtime problem. Aster knows how to convey the creepiness into his narrative with ease and flawlessness, but here, there are many scenes that drag on too long, and I'm like, hey Aster, I know what you're trying to do. It's working, but you don't need this scene to be 10 minutes long. There's a beautiful, poignant scene that gives Bo's character development through his journey that is mixed with animated backgrounds that are gorgeous and feels dreamlike. It's one of the best scenes in the movie, but it goes on for such a long time. If the movie was trimmed down a bit to maybe just 2 hours and 30 minutes, I feel like the impact would have hit even more. Are you at the airport? I'm on my way, I just... It's not safe, is it? What do you think I should do? I'm sure you'll do the right thing, sweetheart. Joaquin Phoenix is a phenomenal actor. He brings Bo to life, and the audience is trapped into his shoes full of anxiety through the runtime. Bo is afraid. Bitch, I'm afraid. Seeing him travel through this creepy odyssey full of disturbing turns as Phoenix gives an all-star performance made me feel anxious in the audience seat, and so many places of this epic. His delivery of his anxious behavior is truly believable, and so far, it's the best performance of the year. The story is large, but so simple. Ari Aster takes a simple story of a son and mother and expands it into a mostly cohesive three-hour movie. And please, for the love of God, don't take your mom to this movie. I am begging you for your sake. Don't do it. This movie is crazy as balls. No, it literally is. You'll see, but don't. please don't let your mom see. The cinematography, just like his other work, is fascinating. It works so well. He really knows how to work the camera to convey the story of deep creepiness. Ari Aster is a movie director I've wanted to talk about for so long, and it's a shame that this review is short because I need to see this more than once to truly figure out what I want to say about it. Midsummer Hereditary and Bo is Afraid are great works of horror that dives into the psychological aspect with full force and doesn't apologize for it. I never go super in depth with my reviews when new movies come out because I want people to know my quick main thoughts after watching a new film so you can see if it's worth it checking out while also getting some laughs in, but I'm teaching myself on how to get full analyzation of films that I love. I love Midsummer, Hereditary, and I really like Bo, and hopefully one day I can fully wrap my mind around these movies to analyze and break it down in the best breezy way possible. <laughs> 